this is Lawrence Latif at uh, GDC in San Francisco. What we're looking at here is the HTC One, which is being launched next week. Uh, actually, this is going to be this is uh, this has a software actually that uh, supports OpenGL yes, uh, and this is a demo that Qualcomm, uh, the maker of the Snapdragon chip, uh, has actually produced to to show off the capability. So uh, here we have uh, HTC showing this uh, showing off this demo on the HTC One. Hi. So this is um, the Qualcomm Fortress demo for showing off the capabilities in OpenGL ES 3.0. OpenGL ES 3.0 supports things like geometry shaders as well as multiple render targets. So you can render into something that'll be your reflection as well as what'll be your main screen. You can see a lot of interesting features like the, uh, the cloth is very beautifully animated. And you can see all the, the triangles that are being rendered on the screen here. There's also some very beautiful effects like with the dragon uh, flame you can bring up. So I mean like in the US from the two year contract, it doesn't work this is all powered by the Snapdragon 600 chipset used in this HTC One phone. Uh, OpenGL ES 3.0 support is coming later in the software update. But the, the phone itself is shipping in London and Taiwan this week and going on sale elsewhere soon. And this is a this is a demo. The, the application you can actually download right now. Is that correct? Uh, I believe the Snapdragon has uh, a good like OpenGL SDK that I've downloaded with lots of demos like this. And but it hasn't been packaged into uh, an Android app really. You use the Android MDK for that. And do you expect uh, when when the developer edition of this phone comes out that uh, game developers will use this as a sort of a benchmark to see what what can be actually done on the HTC One? Oh, definitely. That's uh, definitely a good use for it. Our, our, de our developer edition is coming out with uh, a lot of internal space, 64 gigabytes, but also unlocked bootloader, unlocked SIM card, so you can put uh, other software versions, other ROMs on if you want. And uh, the download you mentioned, so uh, are we talking like weeks or months, or is, has it not decided yet? Uh, there's uh, no announcement on the, the software updates for OpenGL ES3, but I know Qualcomm is already offering their Adreno SDK with OpenGL ES 3.0 demos and things like that. That's great. Thank you very much. Sure. Thanks. Thank you.